Hey guys, it's the Mavic Guy here with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to get the latest updated firmware onto your DJI drone. This should apply for really any DJI drone, the Mavic, the Phantom series, the Inspire. So when I first got my drone, I was having some issues getting it to actually be able to take off, and that's because I didn't have the latest firmware updated. When I signed into the DJI app and tried to get that all set up, it was telling me there was a firmware update. I was trying to download it in the app. It would download to like 5% and just hang there, and then the update would just fail. So I was getting a little annoyed, and then I found out you can actually download the firmware from your computer and then install it directly to the drone, and that made things so, so much easier to do. So in order to update your firmware on your computer, you're going to want to be on the internet. Um, for me here, I'm going to be on Google, and we are just going to search DJI Assistant 2. Okay, and then the page here, um, we're going to go to this first link here. It's about the Phantom 4. doesn't matter what drone you have. If you're just trying to get the software right now, it doesn't really matter what drone you have yet. So we're going to go here. And then at the bottom of this page is going to be the software downloads. So we're going to scroll down. And down here we can see DJI Assistant 2 version 1.0.6. And that is the latest version as of 10.10.2016. So to download it here you can either click on this one to get the zip file or to get the EXE. Um, I went with the EXE. It's just the easier way to do it. Um, so you just want to click that and then you'll get your download going and then at least for me using Chrome down in the bottom left hand corner my EXE is downloaded I believe it's about 83 megabytes as far as file size so when that's complete you'll want to open that up and just run the installation application wizard after that's finished you should get the application open and that will look something like this um, it should look similar you might be at a slightly different looking screen um, and it'll probably have you at some point throughout this sign into your DJI account um, you might have already done that on your phone when you were setting the app up there or if you haven't done that yet you'll need to make one and then you'll want to have your phantom located near your computer and you're going to need to connect your phantom to your computer via the USB cable to the micro USB and that's going to be the male USB cable so you can plug it into a USB port and then the micro USB connection goes into the side of your phantom near where the SD card is so once you got that plugged in you're going to want to turn your DJI drone on one short press and then a long press for about two seconds and your drone should then start booting up. So it's going to initialize for a second here and in a moment we should see this little flash drive icon go into the side of the laptop like it just did there and then we can see here I have a Phantom 4 plugged in so the application now recognizes our Phantom 4. So with that then we're going to want to click on our Phantom 4 and from here we can see the first page it takes us to is the firmware update. So when I first unboxed my Phantom 4, it was on this one right here, version 01010411. And with that, I could not get the app to function correctly and I couldn't take my drone off. So if you're already not up to date, um, the most current one will be at the top of your list here. And where mine says refresh here, yours should say download. You're going to want to download that. It only took a couple minutes to do the whole thing to download and then install it onto the drone um, and then after that I was able to rehook my drone up on my controller and then I just had a quick RC controller update in the app but that went a lot more smoothly than trying to do the drone update so with this your DJI drone should be up to the latest firmware like I said it's super simple super quick way to make sure your drone is ready to go if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like and stay tuned for some future drone footage. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.